Hello, Woodrowers, and welcome to our first lesson in our website tutorials. In today's digital age, having a business without a website is increasingly rare. And that's because a website acts as a 24-7 online storefront, accessible to a global audience, significantly enhancing credibility and driving leads and sales. Simply put, without a website, you risk falling behind competitors and missing out on valuable opportunities. The good news? Well, with Adoo's Website Configurator, you can establish a robust foundation for your website in just a few minutes. Still skeptical? Well, let's head over to odoo.com to see exactly what I'm talking about. Hi, Chiara. How's it going? Hi, Jason. I'm great. How about you? I'm great, thanks. Now, Chiara, when I say Belgium, what do you think of? Um, rain and fries? Ah, yes, our two most common resources. But you know what? We also have a lot of beautiful architecture, nature, a cool history. And I've decided to show people that side of Belgium with my travel agency called Brussels Sprouts. Now, Chiara, ask me, Jason, is there a website where I can get more info? Is there a website with more info? Well, no, of course not, Chiara. That's why we're making this video, so we can create our website together. Are you ready to do it? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Now, there are two ways to start building your website. If you already have Odoo installed, just head to the App Store and click Activate on the website uh, app. Now, in our case, I'll do it as if we were installing Odoo for the first time. So we'll just go to odoo.com and we click on the website icon. We'll start now. It's free because your first app with Odoo is always free. And here we just have to um, fill in our info. Now, my email address is actually jason at odoo.com and the website name will be Brussels Sprout. And now I'm going to click on Start Now and the website configurator is going to launch and it's going to ask me a few easy questions to create the perfect website for me. Start now. Okay, let's do it. Now, first he's going to ask what type of website I want, whether it's a store or a blog or an e-learning platform where I can offer online courses. In our case, it's a website for my business. Now, here's where we specify our business's industry. I can just start typing. And Odoo will suggest some options. We'll select travel agency, because that is what Brussels Sprouts is. Now, what's our main objective? In other words, what do we really want our visitors to do when they're on our site? Scheduling appointments, well, that would be great for dentists or a hair salon, for example. Inform customers, well, that could be for a government website. Sell more is for an e-commerce. And develop the brand, well, that's for a business that wants its story to be known, like a craft brewery or a luxury fashion brand, for example. But in our case, we want people to contact us for our services. So we want to get new leads. Now, what you choose here will impact the main button on your website. But don't worry. If you're hesitating, you can easily change this afterwards, even when your website is made. Now we can choose a color palette to determine the main colors of our website. Now, once more, we can change this afterwards. So don't worry if you choose wrongly. In my case, I already have a logo. So all I'll do is actually upload the logo and Odoo will choose the colors based on it. We can also choose what pages we want on our website. Uh, I'll add an About Us page so that people can get to know us, the services, as I want uh, people to know what we offer, pricing, so we can show our prices, and a privacy policy, so we explain how, to protect, how we protect our, pri our visitors' privacy as we will collect data from them. You know what, I'm also gonna add some news because I'm gonna post blog articles about Belgium. Now, that looks good to me now. Now, the last thing we have to do is choose a theme, which will impact uh, the general look and feel of your website. Now, as always, don't worry. You can change all of this once the site is made, in case you don't like it anymore. Now, Chiara, which theme would you like to choose? Um, how about the middle one? Yeah, of course. Let's go. And now, Brussels Sprouts is born. We see that Odoo has created all the pages I asked for, applied the colors and the look and feel we wanted, and created a main, a main sorry, uh, button that leads people to contact us. Now, the last thing I want to show you is this menu up here, Configurations. When you click here and you go to Settings, it leads you to the backend of your website, where you can change several settings that affect your website. Now, there may be more or less settings depending on which other Odoo apps you have installed. For example, we can change our website name, or we can change the favicon, which is the little image that appears on a tab on top of your nav navbar. And there you have it for this first lesson. In just a few minutes, we've got a working website. Now, of course, we want to customize it so it fits Brussels Sprouts' identity perfectly. So you know what? Let's do that together in the next video. See you there.